Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learning Statistics with Jamovi video. In this one, we are going to be talking multiple regressions still, but we're going to be doing moderation. We did mediation in the last video, and prior to that, we did a couple of basic multiple regression videos. In this one, we're going to be doing moderation. What is moderation? Well, it's kind of like an ANOVA interaction. So when we do a factorial ANOVA analysis of variance, we are trying to see how two or more variables not only change the DV on their own, but interact to change the DV together or in multiple ways. So that's what moderation is. Moderation is seeing if a relationship between an independent variable and a dependent variable, an X and a Y in multiple regression, is changed in strength or direction by a moderating variable or an interacting variable. Now, lots of times, moderating variables are dichotomous variables like gender or um, other kinds of grouping nominal variables. But for the purposes of this demonstration in this video, we are going to treat our moderator as a continuous variable that is likely going to be turned into a group of plus one standard deviation and minus one standard deviation. So how does the relationship between an IV and a DV and X and a Y change when we have this third variable um, when there is plus one standard deviation of it and minus one standard deviation of it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We are going to set that up. So here we have our data. We are going to be using the parenthood, which I've used for all of these multiple regressions. So if you have this LSJ hyphen data installed on your computer, you can follow right along. Parenthood, parenthood. Okay, you find that in the data library. Um, I was looking for other data sets, but I realized I can do it with this one. Learning Statistics with Jamovi is the data set, and you find that down here. It's associated with their chapter 12 on multiple regression. So you find that, you open that. It opens the data set, and we have um, the amount of hours Dan the dad gets of sleep, the amount of his baby and infant is getting, and then the amount of grumpiness that Dan has. Day and ID are going to not be used because they are essentially uh, uh, count variables. So we're not going to use them. The other thing that you need to do this moderation, now moderation does not come in the standard Jamovi package. You have to add a module. So you go up to module and it's called MedMod. Med for mediation, which we just did in the last video, and mod for moderation. These are simple single mediation or moderation setups. If you want to do um, more, mediated, more mediations or mediators, I should say, you have to get JAM, which is advanced mediation models. There's currently not one that you can do for more than one moderating variable in this particular um, setup. There's no module that gives you advanced moderation powers. So really, we're, we're stuck with one moderating. Now, um, I don't do a lot of multiple regression, so I can't tell you how common moderating is in um, the multiple regression world. A lot of people do much more multiple regression than I do. And so uh, it's, it's hard to tell you whether or not that's a, a you know, only one moderating variable is uh, crippling or, you know, hams you at the knees or something like that. So just be aware, based on your needs, whether or not this is going to be suitable for your moderating needs. If you have more than one moderator, well, that's going to be a bit of an issue, right? So let's go into our med mod, and it comes up with mediation and moderation. We just did mediation in the previous video. Take a look at that if you are interested. And then moderation is what we're going to choose today. You can also get to jam here if you want. It puts them both in the same one, which I think is great. So let's grab moderation, and it's going to bring up the moderation module. Looks extremely similar to um, the mediation mod. Uh, module, it's going to give us uh, different statistics, of course, uh, than the previous video, but we're going to set up the same model. What I want to predict is the amount of grumpiness Dan has. So that's my DV. And uh, we're going to predict it from the amount of a baby sleep that uh, Dan gets. Okay. Now it's not going to give me any model information because we're missing the moderator in here. And my moderator is going to be Dan's sleep. So again, it's going to see what happens to the relationship of baby sleep to Dan grumpiness level when Dan gets a lot of sleep versus when Dan gets not a lot of sleep, plus or minus one standard deviation. So we're going to plop that in there, okay? And it's going to give us our basic test statistics using the standard um, estimation method for um, standard errors, right? Which is what the Z statistic is based on, okay? Um, I also realized I did not do a bootstrap of the previous, in the previous mediation. So we'll do a bootstrap at the end of this, uh, toward the end of this video, I promise. <laughs> ha ha ha, LOL, he says. Well, let's get our confidence intervals for our estimates, shall we? And let's get our estimates in our simple slope analysis. And then our plot, which gives us our simple slope. It does not look like it's finished yet because name should not be the um, should not be the issue here. Now these get a little so low and high are Dan's sleep. Uh, low is one uh, minus one standard deviation, and high is plus one standard deviation. So you can see um, how much changes when he gets low amount of sleep versus when he gets high amount of sleep. And these are our simple slopes. So these values, these estimates here, are these three values of the slope here. The scatter plot is just the x y values of baby sleep and um, the amount of grump that uh, Dan gets in a uh, on the estimate train here. So that's why 
we get zero and zero. Okay. So we can see here that um, the relationship of Dan's sleep to Dan grumpiness level is the is a significant moderator. Okay. It moderates it. But together, the interaction of baby sleep and Dan's sleep is not. And that's because Dan's sleep really controls this relationship. So when you have a significant moderator, but not a significant interaction, that means that the moderator is not actually interacting with the baby sleep variable. It's not interacting with it. So there is no moderation in this model. It's and if you've watched the previous vid videos with this data set, you can see that the amount of grumpiness that Dan gets is based on how much sleep he gets. The amount of sleep that he gets is actually based on the amount of sleep the baby gets. So it's, it's really a mediation rather than a moderation. But I wanted to show how you need to be careful with setting up moderators when they're mediators. So that gives you a difference of this um, kind of analysis, right? But, but you can see that there is no interaction in this case, okay? There is no interaction in this case. So lesson learned here, we don't use mediators as moderators. This is how a moderator would look. What you would want to see is one of these lines, uh, the um, gray or the yellow line being askew, okay? Then you can see that there was a moderation, okay? But in this case, there is no um, simple slopes. None of these are, none of these are significant. None of these are telling us that um, Dan Sleep moderated baby sleep to grumpiness. Note, this shows the effect of the predictor, baby sleep, on the dependent variable, Dan Grump, at different levels of the moderator, Dan Sleep, right? So the estimate is um, very low on the average amount of Dan Sleep. Low, he is a little more grumpy when he gets low levels of sleep, and he is less grumpy when he gets more sleep. That's really what it's, that's really what it's saying. But these values are so small, these values are very small, and therefore not and you can see that there's not a lot of deflection of these lines from the average. So they're not significant. So the amount of sleep that Dan gets is not a moderator, but rather a mediator. Okay. So that's how you read moderation in Jamovi. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave those down below. Thank you for watching.